guys, it's me Minori. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Okay, so guys, today I'm at a crane game store. Japan is known for having all these cool crane games and I'm going to be playing them today. There's actually a lot of cool tips and tricks that you can use and I'll show you guys along as I play. And today I'm going to be using $300. I know, it's insane. So without further ado, let's get started. $300 crane game challenge. A portion of this video is sponsored by Boxu. I will tell you guys more about them later in this video, so please stay tuned. Oh my gosh, this is actually like Japan's biggest crane game store. And there's so many crane games. So first off, I want to get like a little pouch. I have all the money inside my pocket, so I need like a little pouch to store them in. Let's go look for like a pouch. I couldn't find any pouch, so I'm gonna try this. Let's see how it works. Okay, just saying I am not an expert in any way, I'm honestly a noob, but there's some common knowledge that many Japanese people know about these machines. I don't think a lot of people know about these tips and tricks outside of Japan, so hopefully there will be some interesting information in this video for you guys. I'll try my best. <laughs> okay, I see how this works. Okay, so this one is made so you can get it on your like 4th or 5th try. It's not that hard to grasp it as the arm is so strong and has a nice grip, but it's made so it kind of bounces backwards. After you do it several times, the prizes kind of fill up the back part and will make like a barricade, so after your 4th or 5th try, it will bounce off the back and come forward. So I think this is my 5th try. Let's see what happens. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to open it and put these in my backpack and use this bucket to hold my coins. So now I'm going to change all my money into coins and put it inside here. This is going to be a lot. So guys, this is $300 worth of points. Let's go get some prizes! Okay, pause. A portion of this video is sponsored by Boxu. What is Boxu? Boxu is a monthly subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and teas straight from Japan to your door. If you want to try random Japanese snacks, I highly, highly recommend. So let's see what's inside, guys. Three, two, one. The reveal. Ooh. So apparently they have a theme every month and this time it's called Hokkaido Holidays. Okay, so here we have tea, some gummies, a lot of rice snacks, and I love this Jaga Pokkuru. Guys, definitely try this out because this is one of my favorite snacks of all time. There's just like so many inside. It's like packed in there. I actually recommend this box to like Japanese people because it's like a box of snacks from all over Japan. Oh, I love this. And if you get Boxu right now using the link and my code in the description box below, you will get $20 off. I've seen like a 10% off and stuff, but I've never seen a $20 off. It's insane. But wait, there's more. If you get Boxu right now, you may win free tickets to Japan. Whoever buys Boxu right now will be automatically entered. So guys, definitely, definitely check it out. So yeah, let's go back to the video. <laughs> This one seems easy. This one is actually pretty straightforward and easy to get. You want to try to aim for the head, the body, and the feet to see which part moves really easily. For this one, I recommend aiming for the feet. And here, I got it on my third try. So $3? I guess not too bad. Let's go to the next one. What should we try next? Oh, hey Max. Okay, I'll help you. Whenever you play with crane games, never assume you can get it on your first try. 
Maybe you could. Most of the time it's going to take a while, but don't worry, you will eventually be able to get it. <laughs> okay, when this happens, you can't do anything anymore. We got a little bit of help here, and she put it back into place, so let's start again. For this one, I try to slowly move it to the left near the hole. Some are easier to get than others, and this one is a little more complicated. kind of hard because it's really round and it could just like roll over but we're kind of getting to the exit and once you get to the edge you could kind of lift it up from the back so let's see uh, no it's still really heavy it's almost nearly impossible to get the prize in one shot but you will definitely eventually be able to get it if you keep on trying. Some prizes are easier to get, and this one that I'm doing right now is actually quite hard. It's so round, there's nowhere to like hook onto. It could just like bounce back and roll around, so honestly, not a good choice. But I still wanted to get him. And like I said, if you keep on trying, you will eventually be able to get it. I'm actually really bad at these crane games where there are bars like so. You need to know where to hook, where to push, move it around so it fits right through the bars. People who are really good at these can like get these in a few tries because they know what to do. I think I still need some practice with these machines. Okay, this is again pretty straightforward. 
You just need to put the arm into the hole, and if you get it into the right place, it will move like a tiny bit. Crane games are made so you can get them after a certain number of tries, so sometimes you just need to be patient. And if you keep on repeating it, eventually you'll be able to get it. <laughs> Our third try! Okay! I can use some forks and spoons. <laughs> I feel like I could get a little bit more. Oh, it's so cute! I got a Nizuko and then eat this food and fork. I wanna get bubbles. Oh, it flipped over. But I feel like this is going to be easier to get because the head is heavier. By the way, the machine knows when you get a prize. I think there's some kind of sensor inside. Even when you get the pink ball on the side, the machine congratulates you for getting a prize. It's kind of funny. Seriously? So I got a ball, guys. But this isn't supposed to be a prize, so I'm going to give it back to the store. These ones are actually 10 cents per plate, and you get a lot of little Legos. Let's try it. So I scoop it up. That's a big chunk. And let it go. <laughs> Ooh, it's actually not bad for 10 cents, guys. Look at all the Legos. Let me try once more. So again, scoop it up. And release. Fish guys, that's a lot. Oh my gosh, look at all these Legos! And again, it was only 10 cents. Oh, I want to try this one again. It's only 10 cents. We need to wait for the right timing and scoop. Oh, okay, <laughs> once more, guys. That did nothing. I got one. So these ones, we just need to put it in the hook. <laughs> you just want to aim for the hooks on each side. Just keep on wiggling it and it will fall off. Oh, it moved. So we just need to repeat these steps until it falls. The lighter the price, the easier to get. Mm. Uh. <laughs> and there you have it. Oh my gosh. This is getting full. Okay, let's move on. This is huge. Let's try this one. Oh, it doesn't open as far. It's moving little by little. A little bit 
more. Perfect. Oh my gosh. We're almost there. If you don't know these snacks, it's called umaibo, and you can actually buy them for 10 cents at convenience stores. <laughs> Look at that one! Okay. For these ones, you want to go for the ones that's in the front. So it's actually made so it's quite easy to get. Some crankings are just easier to get than others. By the way, I always get permission to shoot videos inside stores, and for this tour, I only had like 20 more minutes. I started to look for machines that were easier to get, and I knew this one wouldn't be too challenging since it's the same idea as the mochi ice cream machine. It's definitely moving little by little. Ooh. I feel like we're almost there. <laughs> we got a cart. Jujutsu Kaisen, so popular right now. I think you should go for the feet. We got it in two tries. Let's try something else. Colored pencils? I want to see how they work. A tip? is to try it like a few times first to see how strong the arm is. I'm going to try it a few more times. And if you feel like you can't get it, you should just walk away. Let's try something else. Honestly, I was running out of time, so I was just like looking for easier machines. Ooh, a bento box! This is gonna take a while. Sometimes if you go for the corners, it moves a lot. So I decided to make this the last machine for the day. I mean, it's a My Melody bento box. Who doesn't want it? It's just too cute. It's moving slowly. Let me try the corner again. Ooh, it doesn't go that far. Oh. Box. So guys, I think this is it. We actually still have like a hundred dollars more, but our time is up. I always get permission to film outdoors, and today we had only two hours. So yeah, we're done for today. So we ended up using like two hundred dollars, but look at how much we got. This is a lot. So now let's go back home and see what we got. And 
I'm back. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a lot. So let's see what I got one by one. So first off, I got Baymax. <laughs> a Baymax plushie. Oh my gosh, it's so big. It's so soft and fluffy and I love it. So here's a really big Baymax plushie cushion thing. Um, Next, um, I got a mochi ice cream cushion. It has the mochi ice cream inside. Oh, this is actually so cute and it feels super nice. So this is like a two-in-one. Next up, we've got some small anime plushies and Pringles. Sour cream and onion Pringles, everyone's favorite. And here's some small snacks. More snacks. Oh yes, I got a Kimetsu no Yaiba fork and spoon. It's so cute because I got a Nezuko and Zenitsu pair. Best pair ever. I got a lot of small Legos. And I remember this was the 10 yen one. So worth it. Next up on this side, we've got <laughs> a huge pack of potato chips. It's kind of crushed. So it actually has five bags of chips inside. I also got Pom Pom Prune. Feels so soft. It feels so nice. So soft. I wonder if I can balance it on Baymax. Can I? Okay. Oh yes, I got cookies for my first thing and I actually ate the things inside. <laughs> so now it's just a bucket and it tastes so good. So here's a bucket of cookies. And this is our last item for the day. A My Melody Bento Box. How adorable. So this is all the prizes that I got. I think it's a success. To be honest, if I wanted more items, I should have gone more for like the snacks, Legos, and smaller items in general because those are so easy to get. But I kind of challenged myself to get the bigger items. So considering everything and all the fun, I think it's a success. So what did you guys think? Hopefully you guys liked this video. And if you did, I will be making more in the future. So please stay tuned. Oh, by the way, I will be donating all the items. I will be giving it away. I always give away my stuff to like kids, my friends and family, people I know who have like kids, and some teachers who I know will be able to give away to their students. So I'm happy. The company is happy. You guys get good content and some kids will get free stuff. So I think it's a win for everyone. So yeah, I think that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye!